All right, real quick before we get into this, I'd appreciate it a lot if you lot would leave a like on the video if you're going to enjoy it, that is. Uh, and subscribe too if you want and you're not already. Uh, both of those things would help out a lot. I'd appreciate them a lot. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. Uh, first of all, this just might be my last video ever because um, potentially I could just die today. Um, like, not actually, hopefully. Anyway, but there's like red alerts in the UK for wind and I have to drive two hours um, in that wind. Uh, so hopefully, I guess it's not too bad and, you know, I don't, I don't succumb to that. Uh, so, you know, more content tomorrow, uh, hopefully, anyway. But um, yeah, other than that, I kind of wanted to make a bit of a video talking about guitars because... I made like a tier list um, like a few days ago or it was about a week ago actually at this point my sense of time is just tapped um, about like the easiest weapons to hit diamond on uh, and I put guitars first and like I've, obviously I explained it in the tier list but I feel like I could have explained it probably a bit more a bit better maybe uh, so I thought I'd just kind of dedicate a video to that and give me an excuse to upload something real quick before uh, having to, to make that treacherous uh, journey but uh, yeah we'll see also um, obviously, you lot know by now I'm, I'm a Sentinel main, right? Playing any other Katars Legend in the future is not going to be possible, unfortunately. Like, uh, obviously I've been thinking about Azuri. I think every Katars player thinks about Azuri. Um, and like, yeah, so obviously on Sentinel, uh, I've just been boosted by doing NLI NSIG consistently, you know, just abusing it. And uh, I played like a couple games to warm up uh, before this on the Azuri. And yeah, I also do NLI NSIG uh <laughs> like it's like it's so ingrained into my muscle memory and how did he make it back that was interesting <gasps> god tier punished by me oh and again that was actually quite impressive um that's death fam this guy is just just surviving hold on oh, do you like yeah okay never mind um but yeah no it's like so ingrained into my muscle memory and obviously it doesn't hit even nearly the same on this legend like it is it, it does not bang uh, on Azuri like it does on, on Sentinel, unfortunately. Uh, can this guy die? There we go. That's a slap his head. Um, so, so hopefully, you know, I can get that on my muscle memory. And, and yeah, but anyway, to my, to my point, the actual point of the video, I guess, um, about why I think Sword is Sword? Uh, well, Sword too, actually, which is why I'm playing Azuri, but um, Azuri, fam, what am I saying? Katars, there we go, uh, are so just, just easy and, and probably the easiest weapon to reach like a like, I don't know, what was mid-diamond? Say 2300, right? I don't think that is an easy weapon in the game to hit, like, say, 2300 on 10 Katars. Because, like, in this game, right, the biggest thing, and, like, the, the biggest, like, separator, or the biggest thing that will uh, differentiate, you know, like a, like a decent player to a, a good player. You got gas for a sec. You thought that was going to work. No. It just doesn't die, thing. But yeah, like I was saying, like the thing that will differentiate like a decent player from, from an actual good player. And I mean, I guess good is relative. Like a 2700 player is going to call a 2300 player awful at the game. But you know, that 2700. So, you know, I, I'm talking about like say 2300, right? Like mid diamond, for example, if that even counts as mid diamond. So I don't know if it even does. And this guy just survived that, you know. Uh, people today are just are just refusing to, to let me gimp them, I swear. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, it's always going to be neutral. Like, that's the differentiator, always. Because it's like, it's the one thing that will just always constantly improve. Like, whether whether or not you're even focusing on it, right? Because, like, for example, things like combos, it's like, you'll go into training room, you'll learn your combo, you'll learn a door tree, door tree or whatever, and then it's in your muscle memory. It's done. You've learned it, right? But you can't just like, do that with, with, with neutral game and, and you, you know, your punish game, approaching, movement, all these things. It kind of comes to you as your, like, game sense, your matchup sense, all these different things kind of improve and you know that just happens by, by playing the game right uh i mean obviously you can work on it like you can work on movement um and if you don't know what neutral is i guess i should explain it it's like the thing in fighting every single fighting game it's always going to be the most important aspect right because it's literally it's getting that first hit and like right here you know it's like baiting attacks out uh like that i guess and punishing or he just baited out the sand and punished well uh, things like that it's like how you engage with each other in just like a in a neutral setting right um, like finding that first hit, getting you know the punishes in, you know baiting your opponent well, moving around the the, the like, um, like dead zones properly, all these things. Um, and like I said, things like that, like for example, dead zones, right? Like the way you move around the blasters player when you're like brand new to the game, like you're probably not going to be thinking like, oh, my blasters players can't hit above them. Um, but as you improve, you start to realize like, oh, I can just kind of like float a bit against blasters players and punish from above. Like that, even that is just like a small example of 
you know, your your kind of game knowledge improving, which you know leads to to ultimately your neutral game like improving against blasters, right? Um, and I think like weapons like sword and katars just do so much of the work for you. Like, for example, like on katars, right? Okay, that was uh, interesting. He didn't die. I'm telling you, man. No one's no one's killable today. But like, yeah, on katars, like. If any grounded, okay, anyone throws out a grounded move against you and they miss, guess how you punish it? Sidelight, which covers quite literally half the map. Like, you cannot miss uh, a grounded punish on Katars because you literally just have sidelight. Uh, or you can, like, just nair. Like, using nair in neutral is so free. It has, like, no recovery time. It has two combos now. Like, it's literally a 360 hitbox. You know, you can use it to, to juggle. You can use it to get back to stage. You can use it as a punish because, you know, it leads into combos like that. Uh, you can, you know, literally, like I said, just use it as a landing, uh, edge guard. As you're seeing, this 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 move is uh, insane. I'm gonna kill with it. There we go. Like, yeah, that th that's Qatar's neutral. But yeah, like even with approaching, all the options they're just so obvious. Like if someone's playing grounded, you just side light. Like it's so quick. Uh, you know, if someone's playing, you know, aerial, you just D light. Like it's such a good anti air. This move right here as an anti air is insane. It is like so quick, unpunishable basically, because you know you you end in the air, and I think that's the main differentiator between you know why something like Katars I'd consider easy, but why like Axe isn't easy in neutral. Like I'm not saying Axe is hard in neutral, I'm just saying like it, it, Axe doesn't boost your neutral like Katars does. Like if you're bad at neutral, Axe isn't you know gonna gonna make you some 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 god and make you win more interactions than you deserve to. Katars uh, will do that though, because it's like even if you miss. Because, you know, say Qatar's D-Light is, is an insane anti air option. You know, that's what I just said. Yeah, obviously, Axe D-Light is pretty much equally as insane. Difference is, though, like Qatar's, you can afford to make mistakes uh, in neutral and not really get punished for it. Because it's so quick. Like, the weapon is so fast. You know, Axe, it's punishable, right? So, like, th that's the, I think, the uh, another difference maker of, like, why Qatar's is just so easy. Um, in this in this sense because it's like even if you do make a mistake right a lot of the time you can just cover yourself with an end light like you know say if I, I miss a side light here I can just delight and cover my mistake as you can see uh, you know Axe I would probably got punished there and, you know and there we go I get punished for losing neutral but Katars the neutral is so easy and then even if you miss it's like you don't get punished anyway so you just go again um, like, as you can see like you can just throw attacks and like if I miss a nair for example what can he do like actually what can you do look you tried to punish it there literally couldn't like i don't know this, this weapon's just it's very easy i think like obviously it'll start to fall off uh, and you won't be as boosted like say 2500 ish right 2400 because i think at that point like people start to to learn neutral a bit better but i think up to like a mid diamond point like it, it, it's such a boost because, you know, at that point, you have everything else down. Like, you know, you know, you're decent at reading dodges. You know, you know your weapon. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess that doesn't really apply to... Because if you're switching to Katars, you won't know Katars. But, you know, if you're even slightly at, it's like decent at, uh, at looking at which way people dodge, which at that point you will be, right? Uh, and punishing and all these things. You just play Katars and, like, since everything else is there, you know, the only thing you'll have really lacking will be neutral at that point in Diamond, right? Um... And Katars will just boost that one aspect that you're lacking in. Your, your elo is gonna gonna go up. Oh, why did he have to dodge that? No way. I just out prioritized hammer ground pound with with was unarmed recovery. Interesting one, definitely. I think he's dead here. He's not because I backdashed and misinputted, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully you lot see what I'm trying to say. Because uh, it's kind of like, I feel like every time I do a video like this, like I, I find it so hard to, to explain really what I mean. But yeah, I think I've yeah, done a, a decent job. You should you should kind of have a grasp on what I'm trying to say. And I'm actually going to lose this game somehow. Like, this guy was so close to getting free stocked and I was about to just win the game. Interesting. But yeah, I think if Katars, like if you wouldn't call Katars um, like the biggest neutral booster, like it, it's sword. Uh, and it's not even close. Like, Sword is... I think Katars and Sword are just in their own, like, you know, like, level. In their own tier. Uh, when it comes to just how easy they are in neutral. And, okay, I actually cannot kill. It's because I'm trying to play Katars to kill, and it's just not a smart idea. There we go. 
But like, I'm sure you can understand why Sword would be up there with Katars in terms of like ease of use. Because, you know, they share a lot of similarities. Like, you know, the side lights on both weapons will cover all of Shipwreck Falls uh, with a dash. Uh, not actually, but you know what I mean. Um, so they're just both there to, to punish every single grounded option like that. Um, the sword one I think is better because it's just, it's an actual force field. Like it hits above and below for some reason. Obviously it doesn't have a chew combo at the end like Katars does, but you don't really need one. I guess it's always a 50-50 into like a D-Light or, or a Sire anyway, um, if they don't have a dodge. But like, yeah, it, also a very quick weapon. There's the side light, the force field. There we go. It, it just, it's all you have to do. Uh, and end light will, will carry every single neutral interaction on sword you just do end light like you dash in end light as an edge guard here you just you know maybe you can you can back dash end light there we go It'll dodge that move and just end light to punish uh there we go <laughs> slightly poked his head up above the wall little end light and then yeah that's sword it's really not hard at all you have the gcd lights as well or just d light in general as a punish tool which you know, you have every option out of once you hit it. You can kill with it. You can, you know, you can string with it. Say if you opt to do uh, dare, or you, you have three piece two combos out of it. So if I can hit this, wait, I actually want to hit this now. He's not gonna let me. Oh, I'm okay. I missed. Well, let's not talk about that. Um, but yeah, like the the weapon basically is what I'm trying to say. Very very easy uh, and shares a decent amount of similarities with katars, right? Which is, you know, I'm sure you can start to see the the, the, the things that make a weapon's neutral just just a carry, like just a complete boost. Um, but, you know, that's not to say that I think these weapons are the best weapons in the game. I mean, Sword, there's an argument there, probably. Like, Sword is, is very good now, and it has been for, for a long time. Uh, but I just think the skill floor on these weapons is so high. Like, way too high, specifically. Uh, Lance is another one. I think the skill floor is really high. But, like, what I mean by that is that, you know, when you pick up this weapon... Okay, so, for example, a weapon with a, with a low skill floor would be Scythe, right? You pick up, uh, I said Scythe, well, you pick up Scythe and immediately you're not very good with the weapon. You, know, you have to learn your dodge reads and all that stuff uh, to, to actually make it effective. So yeah, on a weapon like like Scythe or a Greatsword even, right? Even if you're like a really good like Brahalla player in general, the first time you pick up those weapons, you're not going to prosper on them. You know, like you need to learn them still. Like, like I said, even if you are good at the game, you're still going to have to learn all the different string routes you can go down. You're gonna have to learn like dodge punishes, right? On a weapon like Katars and Sword, if you're good at the game, you'll pick them up and you'll already be good at the weapons. Like, it's not to say that, you know, the skill ceiling of Katars and Sword is, is low, because it's not. Like, you can get way better than everyone else at the weapons. Like, you know, Wrench's uh, Katars, for example, or or like Swatter's Sword, I think is is way better than, um, well, obviously, is, is, is miles beyond any like mid-diamonds, you know, Katars or mid-diamond sword. You know, like, the skill ceiling is still high, but it's like, you're already good at it to begin with. Uh, you don't have to put too much time in to, to be able to pick it up, like, uh, especially sword, right? Like, everyone's secondary weapon is always sword. Like, that's kind of what that weapon is, is always referred to. It's like a secondary weapon. Um, like, for example, bow players, a lot of them will pick up Koji because it's like, they have the bow. Um, so, just just pick up, pick up Koji, have the sword. You know, I already, it's not like you have to... If you're already very good at bow, you don't have to go too deep into sword to learn it. You can just start playing Koji straight away. Um, and, you know, you have that kill option, d out recovery. It's always a good choice. Um, and, yeah, like, I don't think people play Katars much as, like, a secondary weapon. I think that's more of, like, a like a main weapon. But, but even then, you know, picking this up to, to just main is so easy to get into. Especially compared to, like, Scythe or even Gauntlet's, like... They're both string weapons, like all these weapons are string weapons, right? Katars, Scythe, and Gauntlets, but I think there's a clear, like, easiest here, right? Um, and I don't know, like, they all have, like, a very high skill ceiling. It's just a lot easier to get into Katars, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but, 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 yeah, that's, honestly, it probably sums up my points. I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. Um, so, yeah, that's basically just why I think these weapons are really easy. And, you know, there's, like I said, the sword is definitely up there too. It's just, you know, I pointed out the similarities already. Um, uh, and yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is if you just want to get a nice boost to, to 2300 or something like that, just focus on playing Katars and Sword and you'll get there in no time, I feel like. As long as your like, mechanics are, are, are like okay, like you're just, you're, you're quite decent at the game. Just like I said, play, play, play Azuri, honestly. And there you go, that's, that's 2300 with speed. Maybe not actually, but just your your best chances, I'd say. Um, 
Or maybe just play Sai from the, from the first game you play Brahalla up until, you know, you are 2300. Maybe then you'll get there even quicker because, you know, a weapon like that, once you unlock its potential, obviously, yeah, it's, it's insane. Um, but anyway, that'll, that'll do it for the for the rambling. And yeah, like I said, I feel like I've repeated myself so much. I mean, they lost like, <laughs> lost two games especially. Um, so I'm going to shut up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe. I'd appreciate those things a lot. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully, hopefully I upload tomorrow. See you then. Have a good rest of your days. And peace. Thank you.